John Beeline said he's talked with the Big Ten about his ejection from Michigan's game this week, his first ejection in decades. He wouldn't share what he said, but laughed and told us all, we don't need to expect another one for 37 more years. Oh, wow. Did he just get thrown out yes, of the game? He did. Oh, I probably will. Way long time from now, I'll probably laugh about it. But I will also, um, you know, say, what could I have done differently? And um, it, it, hopefully uh, the officials involved will learn from it as well. I hope that they learn from it, that they don't put themselves in that situation, just like I did. I'm curious, after all the dust settled and you got home or got to your phone, mm -hmm. what your wife had to say. Oh, um, I think she, she knew me as a younger coach, where I, didn't, where I didn't get thrown out of the game and I didn't get a lot of technicals. I, I probably got more upset at officials than I do today. She knew that, but probably was as surprised as I was what, what, went, what happened didn't happen so quickly. You love baseball. I love baseball. I'm curious if, uh, if watching baseball games over the years and seeing managers get tossed oh, yeah. out, if you, uh, if you got any text messages or calls from any of your old baseball fails. I, I, you know, I did get from some of my friends uh, talking, said I pulled a Whitey Herzog, right? You know, Bobby Cox used to get thrown out a, a, a lot. I was thinking as far back as Leo DeRocher and Walt Alston and, and you know, kicking the stuff on their legs. And Bobby Cox, I think, who picked up the, home, the plate oh, and threw it. it, it those stuff. I was thinking about some of those things. And how it happens in baseball like once a week somewhere. It doesn't right. happen in basketball too much. But it's, unfor it's all unfortunate. You'd like to see it not happen. But uh, it happens and you move on.